All the stories about me are true. No matter what they say, yes, even your dumb story about when I killed that pig with my own bare teeth, that was true too. It says you're a heretic! Lovely. What is the name of the patron of saltism? The patron god of saltism? Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor. <laughs> 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 fuck you, Ken. Just fuck you. Do we have any other ideas for the names of our fucking patron god of saltism or... All in favor, say I in chat! Not that you necessarily get to vote and democratically decide the name of your god, but in this case we shall make an exception. Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor going once! Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor going twice. Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor going three times. Why the fuck are we named this? God damn it. Let it be known. The nerds worship Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor. For as long as there have been people to believe, there have been gods to vie for their attention. Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor is one such god destined to claim their place in humanity's hearts and minds. There would start with a single soul destined to become the first prophet of Saltism. I am Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor. I am Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor! From nothing, Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor appeared before Cuscadal. Cuscadal renounced their faith in the old god, Quetzalcoatl, and placed it in Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor instead. You'd sort of, you'd sort of wonder why the fuck they changed their faith from Badass Quetzalcoatl to Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor. But, okay, first, Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor taught Quetzalcoatl about what is right. In my name you will spread war. But of course, the salty can only bring war. And you shall not salt your vegetables, that is just disgusting. The elders who worship the ancestors consider this idea to be dangerous. This will only lead to destruction and agony. They could not see how they were wrong in opposing Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor. A sacrament was called to determine who is right. Alright. We're gonna die instantaneously. The elders were resolute in their judgment. Cuscato and a few followers were banished from the old city. Before leaving, Cuscato prophesied that one day Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor would come back and conquer the old city. One day we shall return. Cuscatl continued to travel for days with the exiled. The people were growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor spoke again. This shall be Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor's holy site. A new religion is founded. As the name sort of implies, you uh, indirectly control the lives of a group of followers that pertain to your religion. Adds one to two nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I love that description. Let's add to the nerds. Age of Darkness. Yeah, hey. 20 nerds. There are only 20 nerds in existence. Don't worry. Soon the whole entire world will realize that they are full of nerds. By praying at the Holy Site Center, Katskato's faith in Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor grew. The more faith a disciple has, the better they serve. Two disciples, in awe of this prayer, pledged themselves to Sultism. They were young Zuma and Neka. Although they are devoted, they could do with more faith. As Kado preached to the new disciples, We must travel far and wide and prove Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor's greatness in the Holy Sacraments. Victory in the sacraments will convert new nerds. With more nerds, Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor will grow more powerful. Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor commands, Go, my disciples! Win sacrifice! Win sacraments and convert new nerds to the ways of saltism! Praise me to saltism! Hmm. 
Hmm. Is this level? Oh, so we're higher level. I think. I think. Prepare to fall before soldism! Huzzah! I defy you! Because <laughs> God told us just like, fuck you! Fuck your music. We win the sacrament! You will join us or you will die! Praise me to Saltism! Oh, cool. Classes. Um, customize. Okay, cool. This is where I can, like, adjust people. So I can add you guys. Because Scottle is going to remain the same, but we're going to get you guys in. So we had a few people in the queue. And so our first one is going to be Ken. We'll do that, I'd say. Your hair isn't that long, though. Like, you have longer hair than most of my friends, but... This one? All right, yeah, we'll do that one. The Zealot is a powerful orator who excels at dealing morale damage and does well with critical hits. I feel like you would be the type of motherfucker to um preach our uh, fucking our fucking tomes and our worship. So uh, I think Zealot is a pretty good bet for you. We're gonna make Shogun ponytail. I remember. I can make Pippi. That's such an easy Pippi. Oh my god, I love it. I'm loving this already. Hell, motherfucker. I think we're going to do Shogun as a guardian, actually. Is Cuscoddle, like, a generic as far as the game is concerned, or is she randomly generated? I'm actually not sure at all. I'd probably be named, uh, if I had to be named after a state or something, it'd probably be Dakota. I knew a Dakota during high school. It's a pretty chill name, actually. Some of the herd has gone missing. Shogun felt inspired by Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor and prayed vigorously for the herd's return. Sadly, only a couple of the missing returned. Even though the herders were grateful, they felt Shogun's miracle could have worked better. Mardi Gras Prince Skeletor commands disappointing miracle. Wow, Shogun, you're a fucking disappointment. Before, yeah, that's about right. New abilities. Wall. Blessed be Shogun, despite his fuck up. Now we get to build the wall to keep all the tribals out. For war, shit! <laughs> the ways are wrong! Heretic! Yeah! Let me just lecture you, man. Outrageous! You're just like, outrageous! You don't believe in anything, you fucking goon! God level up. Praise be to me! The level two god! Koskatl, you were my first disciple! You will bless our first Sir Alec! Flower of Charisma improves all miracles in the ritual, plus one Charisma. In order to collect the required offerings you require, your disciples wish to build an offering stockpile. Disciples could be inspired to lead the ga the gathering of offerings here. These offerings will provide useful for my miracles! Several nerds have traveled to the holy site eager to become your next disciples. You may summon these initiates and determine who is worthy enough to become acolytes of Saltism. Each disciple requires a large um, requires an amount of your worship or support, so take care when making a selection. Summon the initiates before me! New initiates. Ooh, Cuscatl. Sipak from the bloodline of Cuscatl. Hair totem. Charisma, decent, cunning, decent. Talented attributes will automatically rise when the disciple performs a miracle. Uh, bloodline of the Prophet. Sipak was taught to believe firmly in his fa by his family. Okay. This one, Montezuma is looking the best. All right, Montezuma is not Montezuma. This is who's next in our queue. Shogun Dragon DF. We'll do. We'll give you that because we've already used the other one for Shogun at this point. The long hair, fucking pale Finnish bastard. That's actually pretty okay from the get go. Pale ass Finnish motherfucker. 
Okay. What color does what hair color does uh DF have? We're gonna give you that for now. So we have DF, who is uh part of Cascado's uh line of heritage. Like you are Cascado's child. Finn Dragon here, who is the really good, just like talented one. So essentially DF got in by, you know, just existing and uh Finn, Finn was actually talented. 